welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I'll be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. In this lecture, we are going to study about adding the number of rows or adding a new swim lane or any new department in a swim lane map. For example, here are three departments, quality assurance, production and store. Suppose we are interested in adding the next department, which is human resource. So suppose instead of the next step after the store, that is after dispensing of the raw material, suppose we want an additional step. Suppose we want human resources to allocate people for particular roles and then only the production starts mixing the raw materials. So in this lecture, we are going to study how to add this additional row or additional lane if we are required to. First of all, you select the lane below which you want to add a new lane or a new row and then you press Ctrl C and then press Ctrl V. You see that a new lane is created. You simply have to drag this new lane and drop it over here. So let's edit the name also. Suppose this is human resource department. And we do not want these symbols over here because these symbols are related to the quality assurance. So we simply delete all things related to quality assurance by simply pressing the symbols or any text and pressing the delete on the keyboard. Now suppose we want a new symbol over here which is related to allocating people for particular role. So we choose a new symbol suppose. So this symbol is related to allocating people for new role and we want the next step after store to come to the human resource and then only the process has to move to the production. So we delete this arrow over here. We hover around here and when we observe the green color, we simply drag our mouse from that color and we simply attach it to the green color of the new symbol. So here it is. We have connected the store to the human resources. Now from here again we are connecting the new symbol to the symbol on the production or the process on the production. So we have successfully added a new lane or a new department. If we simply want to delete any lane it's quite simple. I can simply choose this lane and click delete so the entire lane is now deleted and this symbol I will again attach this symbol to the one on the production so I have successfully deleted my entire lane so this is how you add or remove any lanes you can practice it with your own flowchart or I will be also providing you templates which will be in the resources tab thank you so much for practicing and staying with me in this lecture too. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, Agile and Scrum, Kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free, no strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership and remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.